The Ministry of Interior, MOI Qatar. The MOI has set up requirements that are to be met by these organizations as a standard requirement of operations of CCTV video surveillance within the country. Security System Department, SSD, of Ministry of Interior, MOI, in the state of Qatar has rules and regulation to be abided by surveillance integrators. This video is all about how to request or apply for the CCTV system design approval at the Ministry of Interior, Security Systems Department, Qatar. Without any ado, let's start the video. To apply for the CCTV design approval request, you must have a license from the MOI Security Department. The license will look like this, as you can see now on the screen. There are many companies in Qatar to be listed and approved for this license from the MOI, the Ministry of Interior for the installation of IP CCTV camera systems in Qatar. If you like to know the list of approved companies, please go through with my previous video for the basic concept of the MOI Security Department and its activities. However, let's continue this video. First of all, the user has to connect the smart card of the company to the computer. Once user connects the smart card to the computer, open web browser and search for moi.gov.qa. Ministry of Interior website will open. The default language of the website is in Arabic. Change it into English by clicking on English. Navigate to MOI services from the main menu. Then select e-services. Then select Security System Service. Log in into the website by clicking on the Login button. Once the user clicks on the Login, it will redirect to the National Authentication System. Here we have to authenticate with a smart card or EID card. Upon the first connection of the smart card, the reader user has to install the driver or Google Chrome extensions. To install it, click on Accept Terms and Conditions and then follow the installation steps. Once the installation is completed, the computer will be able to read the card. Enter the four-digit PIN of the smart card. Then click on Continue. Once login into the National Authentication System, User will be able to see all the registered companies under the smart card. Select the preferable company from the list. Then click on Continue. Once the user clicks on Continue, it will again redirect to the Ministry of Interior website. Here the user has to select the user privileges such as Personal, Agent, Establishment. Select Privilege as the Establishment. Then select the preferable company from the list. To continue click on the login. Now let's go back to the security system service. Here we would have different types of services from MOI security systems department. This video is only about design approval. So let me select the drawing approval design phase. Security systems department. Drawing Approval Design Phase Request Form will open. The first section is to fill in the project details. Make sure the engineers and company equipment must be approved before we submit the proposal design. It means that, before we proceed with the design approval, we should make sure that the at least one engineer of the company is approved by the MOI Security Department. However, in the upcoming videos, we will be discussing how to apply for the engineer technical approval. And we should make sure that the equipment and devices such as CCTV cameras, DVR or NVR, storage, hard disks, network switches, computers, monitors, network cabinets, and UPS, which we used in the project, are approved by the department. However, in the upcoming videos we will discuss how to get product approval from MOI Security Department. All the videos link will be available in the description. The user has to verify the applicant details which will be filled by default, such as name, QID number, phone number, and email ID. Scroll down and fill in the remaining details. Drawing request type. There are three types of requests. Under construction building. Update on existing non-approved building. 
Update on existing approved CCTV drawing. If the user requests the first time for any building he can select a first or second option. And then select document type. There are three types of documents. Commercial registration. Commercial license and medical license. Select the type as commercial registration. Then enter the document number which means the user has to enter the applicant commercial registration, that is CR number of the applicant company. Then select the establishment type, working, or other, the user has to select working. But we can select others also, it will not affect the application. Then enter the company estimation ID number, it's optional. Then enter project basic information such as, the project name. Then select project types such as bank, exchange bank, residential complex, extras. My project is a shopping mall. So let me select it from the list. Then enter the project description such as project name, project type, project location, and more. and then select how many buildings are available on the project. Then enter the total project space, or land area of the project in the meters, or mm. Then enter the project duration, in days, which you have to calculate from the first day, to the ending day. Then select the start date of the project from the calendar. And then select the last date of the project from the calendar. Once you complete the first section, Click on the next button from the bottom. Before you click on the next, scroll up and go through the complete form. If there is any information missing please complete it, and then go ahead. As you can see on my screen, I forgot to enter the company's CR number. Let me enter the number. To continue scroll down, and click on next. Once the user clicks next, it will be redirected to the second section of the application, which is the project address details. Here the user has to enter the complete address of the project, such as zone number, street number, street name, building number, building name, land piece number, which is optional, if you have those details please enter them, or else move ahead. This is all the information user can get from the number plate of the property. For your reference, I have displayed a sample plate of the property on the screen, where you can find the required information about the property. If the user does not have the full information, he can go with the next option, which is to enter the area PIN number, or else enter the plot number of the project, which you will find on the Engineering Consulting Officer Authorization Letter. For your reference find a sample letter on the screen, because usually there is no PIN number available in Qatar. Even if the user doesn't have the PIN number, he can go through with the latitude and longitude of the project. To know the latitude and longitude of the project please select it on the map to get the values, and then enter correct values as per the map. Next enter how many units or buildings available on the project. Then enter the name of the unit or project name. Once you finish the application, click on Next to continue. Once the user clicks Next, it will redirect to the third section of the application, that is Project Details. Use the Project Details page to enter basic information about the buildings of the project, if it is composed of a group of buildings. Notice that some of the fields and data elements are mandatory to fill, and some are optional and can be filled or kept empty. Please perform the steps in the following order. Select the buildings from the list. Here I have only a single building. So let me select the building number one. Then, enter the name of the building. A maximum of 100 characters could be entered into the box. Then enter the number of floors, of the first building, or the project in the total number of floors text box. Then enter the brief description of the building, or the project in the building description text box.
Next, if the activity of the company is a consultant, select the company which will be executing the project from the Executing Establishment list box, which contains the names of companies approved by the Security Systems Department under the particular smart card. Then select the Project Engineer. From the Project Engineer list box, which contains the names of the approved engineers who work for the executing company which was selected in the previous step. Next user has to enter the building details. Classify the building floors by selecting a classification from the floor type, such as garage, mezzanine, first floor, or flat area from the floor classification list. Then specify the number of floors on the floors count box. Then enter the surface area of the particular floor at the surface area box. Please refer to the floor layout drawings to get the total area of the floor. And then enter the purpose of the floor, such as the shopping area, dining area, or etc. To add more floors to the building or project click on Add button and repeat the same steps for all floors. The user can verify the added floors list at the bottom of the screen. As you can see on my screen. Once you finish it with the applicant click the next button to move to the next page. Note that your application is saved and can be completed later in case you exit the system or if the required data or documents are not available at present. Once the user clicks on the next, it will be redirected to the next section of the application, that is project owners. Use the owner data page to enter or modify basic information about the property owner. Note that some fields and data elements are mandatory and some are optional. Please perform the steps in the following order. Specify the owner type such as personal, company, government entity, or responsible from the owner type list. Then provide the name of the owner. If he has QID, then select the QID checkbox. Then select the owner's nationality from list. Then enter the owner's QID number. The user has to fill the remaining fields such as estimation ID number, mobile, and phone number. If you have more than one owners on the CR, add the multiple owners by clicking on Add button. All the added owners list with information will be displayed on the bottom of the page, as you can see now on my screen. You may use the Delete button to remove an owner record, or use the Edit button to edit the information of an owner. To continue click on the Next button. Once the user clicks on the Next, it will move to the next page, where the user has to enter the products or equipment details. This page to enter basic information about the products or equipment that will be utilized for the project. Please perform the steps in the following order. Select the building or project from the list. Then select the appropriate classification such as cameras, NVRs, hard disks, and storage server etc. from the product main classification. Then select the exact part number and the manufacturer name of the particular selected item. Make sure the product you are going to use for the project should be approved by the SSD. Unfortunately, if the product you used on the project is not approved by SSD, so you may not find it in the list. Therefore you have to take the product approval before the design approval, then go ahead. To know how to apply for the product approval, please go through with the video available on our channel. The link of the video is added in the description. Once you select the exact equipment with the part number from the list, then enter the total quantity of the selected product used on the project. To add more equipment or products for the respective project or building, please click on the Add button. All the added products and equipment details will be displayed bottom of the screen. However make sure you should add all the items as per the site installation. Please note that you can exit from the application at any time by clicking on the saved, and it can be completed later in case you exit the system, or if the required data or documents are not available at present. As of now let me cancel this and continue. Let me add all the equipment available on the project, one by one.
once you added all the available equipment in the design for the particular project or building. Please verify it from the added list which is shown at the bottom of the screen. Then, click the Next button to move to the next page. Once the user clicks on the Next, the Attachments page will open. Here the user has to upload the following documents concerning the attachment description, the authorization letter from the main contractor to CCTV contractor. The letter should be drafted in Arabic language. Make sure that the both companies authorized persons should be signed with the official stamps, MOI, SSD license of the applicant company, commercial license of the applicant company, project contract between the main contractor and CCTV contractor. Authorization letter from the owner to the consultant or applicant company. Make sure that the letter should be drafted in the Arabic language and there must be signed and stamped by both parties. Project schedule. The user has to prepare a complete project schedule for each activity and get it signed by the authorized person. It could be by the engineer of the project. Detailed schematic drawing of the system for the particular building or project. Camera storage calculation for 120 days of the recording for each camera. Control room drawing layout, complete layout for each piece of equipment that will be installed in the control room or monitoring room of the CCTV system. Approved certificate from department, if any previous approvals for the project issued from the MOI, SSD. Commercial license for the client's company. Maintenance contract, or SLA. The maintenance contract between client and CCTV contractor should be at least one year from the project completion date, as per the project schedule. Make sure the contract letter should be signed and stamped by both the parties. List of all security surveillance equipment devices. The complete bill of quantities for the particular project or building with each piece of devices and equipment part number. Power load calculation. The engineer should provide a complete UPS load consumption calculation for the whole system of the CCTV installed for that particular UPS, and make sure the load should be justified for the installed UPS. Detailed drawings of the camera location for each floor. The drawings must have the updated structure, and they should be shown, or highlight each camera coverage area. Once you attached all the required documents, click on Next to continue. Once the user clicks on the next he will reach the next page of the application, where you will have the complete summary of the applicant. Scroll down, and verify each and every details of the application, which you have filled. Once you verify the application, click on the check boxes. That is I hereby pledge that the information I provided is true and accurate and that I shall be held responsible if proven otherwise. And agree to the terms and conditions. Then click on Send to submit the application. Once the application is submitted, you will see on the screen that the request was sent successfully. Please save the request number for later review. For each application, you will receive a DSA number. To acknowledge the application, you can review and print request details by clicking on the PDF icon. Once the application is submitted, it will take at least 5 to 6 working days to review the application. Your application might be rejected several times, you will have the comment for each rejection, kindly resubmit the application, for each rejection with compliance of the comments from the department. I hope you understand in detail, how to apply for the CCTV design approval application online, to MOI security department. If you like my explanation, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you, see you soon.